All right, all right, all right. Hey, things are shaping up over here at the condo. I got a few more days. I'm getting ready to get into the paint. And before I did that, I wanted to wipe down on top of that ledge. And I thought, okay, is anybody gonna see that? No, but I'm gonna see it. And I know that it's not 100% until I wipe that off. So I wiped that all off. And if you were with me the other day, you would have seen that I had to pull this, this uh, oven out. I had to flip the uh, door handle and the, and the door uh, swing around. Remember, remember the handle used to be over here and the hinges used to be over here and I couldn't open the door. Well now check it out. Okay, and I flipped it around upside down. I, I put some uh, putty stick down at the bottom and, and I've done a few other things. And before I get ready to do the paint touch up, I wanna walk around and check and see if there's any cobwebs hanging anywhere and stuff. And I'm just about ready to start painting. And the first thing I'm gonna do is paint this bathroom. And I wanted to talk to you very briefly about the bathroom. Yeah, have you ever painted a bathroom before? I'm, I'm sure you have. And I'm sure you tried to paint around the light fixture, didn't you? Oh, I'll be careful with that. I, I won't get anything on there. I'll paint around this, I'll paint around this, I'll paint around, I'll paint around the, uh, the towel bars because I, I don't want to mess with that. I can cut in around that. Don't do any of that stuff, okay? Before I do any painting in here, I'm gonna take this trim down. I'm gonna take this down. I'm going to take the towel bars down and remember which one is which. This is on the top, that's on the bottom in case there's any uh, monkey business going around. I'm gonna take the cover plate off. I'm gonna take the, the light switch cover plate off. I'm gonna take the electrical outlet cover plate off. This thing here, if you wanted, you could take this whole thing out by undoing these four screws. One there, one there, and two on the other side. This should be able to pop out, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna do the best I can about cutting in around that. And I'm gonna have to cut in around the mirror. But on this light fixture here, I'm going to take that out. Yeah, before we moved in here, I had taken all this stuff out and I had it all ready to paint. And, and then we got going on some other stuff and then we needed to move out of here real quick uh, because Momi wanted to let somebody else uh, stay here. And so I put everything back up without even painting. <laughs> so now this is gonna be the second time I'm taking this down. And the reason, the reason why is because I don't care how good of a painter you are or if a professional painter came in here, every single roller that I know that you're gonna use up here to roll the ceiling is going to spit. And it's only gonna spit little, very fine, little, incy, beansy, little, tiny droplets. You're hardly gonna be able to see it until you look down here and you see it on here, and you see it on here, and you see it on there, and you see it on your, on your light fixture trim. You see it on the, on the, uh, the stainless steel part. You see it on the cover. You see it on the tops of this, and the tops of that, and you think, oh, okay. And the tops of your toilet paper holder over here. And, and you're gonna see it everywhere, and it's gonna be on your floor, and it's gonna be on this edge, and it's gonna be in your tub, and it's going to be on this here, and it's going to be on this trim, never fails and it's going to be on your door handle. Okay, so uh, as for the door, I'm gonna take the door off the hinges and I'm gonna set it in the other room, no biggie. I'll get that out of the way and then I'll take everything down, okay? And you'll find that you do a better job. The very first bathroom I ever painted I got, oh, I'll, oh, I know what to do. I'll use a mini roller and I'll just go up, up and down in here, back behind there and down that way and, and go around and then I'll cut in everything with the paintbrush. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't even have a professional painter do that because you're going to leave an edge on here. Okay. I don't care how good of a painter you are. Okay. And if you do most of it with the roller and then you're going to have, you're going to see your paintbrush marks 
around this as opposed to your roller around the other, especially if it's smooth wall. Here, it's braid texture, so you're probably not gonna see much of a difference. Okay, but don't do that. Spend the time, spend the time to take this out because when you're rolling the wall, you, you can go from the top uh, from the top down to the bottom, top down to the bottom, bottom up, top down, bottom up, top down. And you can do that and get a nice flow, nice even if you don't have these in the way. If you leave these, you're gonna, you're gonna have stop start from here to there, and then stop start from there to there. Stop start from there down to there, stop start from there down to there, and, and pretty soon you, you're not gonna have your paint on there nice and even. And when you get all done, you're gonna see some streak marks. You're gonna look on here, you're gonna say, oh, the paint's thicker here, it's lighter over there. I got some holiday marks over here. Man, I should have, I should have, I should have remembered what Video Joe was telling me. No wonder he he was telling me to do that. Okay? And before I start painting, once I get everything out, before I start painting the ceiling, now now hear me out. And I'm not just talking to hear myself talk. You're gonna learn something here, okay? Okay, now this, you can see how the color of these walls are tan. The ceiling is tan. When I get all done, I'm gonna have it look just like this bathroom here. And I've already done this bathroom from before and I've got videos of, of all that. I've got white on the top and I don't have white flat. I got white semi-gloss. And the, the wall paint is semi-gloss, not eggshell. I got eggshell on all the walls instead of flat. Okay, but I'm not gonna use eggshell in the bathrooms. I'm gonna use uh, semi-gloss so it's glossier, okay? And so it wipes down easier and cleans up easier. Okay, now, now keep in mind, because I'm changing colors, it, because I'm gonna make this white, I gotta put two coats on here, don't I? One coat, I don't care how good of a painter you are again, one coat is not going to cut it here. There, you're going to see. You're going to see marks. You're going to see unevenness. And just remember, you're going to have to put two coats. Okay. And usually, what I do is is I leave a gap around the sides with with my frame, uh, my roller frame. I'll use that along the wall, and then I've got about a three quarter inch to an inch line all the way around. Uh, that I got white paint everywhere else except that last little bit and I'll cut that in with the paintbrush. Uh, I do that, I'm gonna have to cut in the ceiling two times, um, an inch right on the edge and over, okay? An inch or so. I can't just do it one time because, because since I'm gonna put two coats of white uh, semi-gloss up there, there's no way, I don't care how thick of paint you let it you let it thicken up and you put it on your paintbrush and you think oh I just I just cut it in once it'll be fine no it's not going to be fine with semi-gloss it's gonna slide it's gonna slide on there there's only gonna be so much you can put on so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna try putting masking tape on the wall up at up at the top of the from the ceiling on down masking tape normally I don't do that Okay, but I'm gonna try that. That way when I do the roller, I'm gonna get the roller really pretty close to that inside corner. Do you see what I mean? Even, even if a little bit of the white paint flows in on the back side of the masking tape, whether or not I put frog tape, green tape, blue tape, pink tape, white tape, regular masking tape, whatever I do, you're probably gonna have a little bit of that white paint coming down because it's not a flat, uh, it's not a flat wall. There's nodules on there. No matter how tight you put your masking tape, there's always going to be little ridges where the paint's going to get in there and dive bomb down onto the wall. Does that make sense? So, but it's going to be a, a minimum. And so um, when I get all done with the ceiling, then I can pull the masking tape off. If I get little drips around, I don't really care about that. that because um, then I can go around with a, with a paintbrush and just touch it up, boop, 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 around, around the uh, ceiling before I get on the walls. Does that make sense? Okay, and then when I, when I do the walls, I'm hoping to do just one coat of semi-gloss, 
um, double click it's called and it's it's kind of a grayish color it's kind of a it has a tinge of blue in it but it's mainly gray it looks it looks more blue when it's all up but but that is a gray it's got blue tinges tinges in it it may cover in one coat I can't remember if I put two coats uh, in that other bathroom or not okay but um, either way um, then I'll paint out the walls and then I'll cut in the wall from the wall up to the ceiling and I won't have to hardly do any white paint up there if I mask off the wall and like I say normally I don't put any masking tape out the ceiling line at all okay and uh, the last time I did it I did the ceiling and then and then cut it in and then I tried to put masking tape up there and then uh, do it e either way I still had to, I still had to cut in so I'm, I'm trying to think how can I do this a little bit quicker in where the where the tile is in the shower I'll put the mat I'll put the masking tape uh, you know all the, all the way up to the grout line and if not uh, just a hair above that and then I'll recut in that line I have to look at the grout and see if that grout has been painted before and it looks like the grout has been painted so so I'll just paint that the same color as the uh, as the ceiling and then on the side you see how they they actually painted the grout right there and so when I paint the wall, I'm going to keep that line there. In the other bathroom, and, and see, they did the same thing here, those silly, those silly dogs. Okay, the paint, they painted right on the edge. And so the grout line is painted too, because in the other bathroom, they had, they had drips and drabs of it. And I, I ended up cleaning off the grout line. And I left the grout, and then I cut it in. You see what I mean? See here, there here's the grout line. See? All the way up. You know, if, if you if you have half of that painted and half of it not painted, you're gonna have to decide. Do I clean off all the grout with a wire brush and then try to cut that in? Or do I just cut do I just put the new paint right over the old paint, right up tight to the to the uh, grout, to the uh, to the tile. See I, I, I did the same thing over here. Got that grout line left the grout line, I had to clean that, had to clean it up at the top, man, it took forever. But, so you gotta, you gotta kinda look at that too. Okay, so that's, that's kind of what's coming up, what, what, I'm, what I'm gonna be working on. I'm not gonna show you how to take the light fixture down and how to take the, the towel bars down and the trim. I've got all kinds of videos on my channel. Go to my main YouTube channel page, click on playlist, go down to electrical, and you'll, you'll find light fixtures just like this one, kind of like this, how I take it down, how I put it back up, and all that kind of stuff, okay? And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my, my painting stuff ready, but the first thing first, like I said, taking the light fixture down, taking the trim down, taking this down, taking the, uh, the towel bars down, taking the light switch cover plates off, taking the electrical cover plates off, taking this door down, Popping the door off the hinges, setting that into the other room and getting all set up. That is my next step for this project. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. Yes. Now, speaking of repainting this bathroom, first thing... Once I get ready to start painting, of course I start at the ceiling and I'm going to use the same white that I used for the door frames and the doors and it's going to be a semi-gloss and when I get, before I get that paint out, I've got to look around and see, okay, because I, I, I'm getting ready to sell this condo and there's a few other things that I got to do with the white paint and you see this, you see this top, this top right here for the wall coming down the stairs okay I saw this mark right here and I and I was gonna clean it and it's indentated right into the paint of course somebody put something here of course it it leaked of course it ate through the paint so I'm gonna have to lightly sand that and then when I have and, and then and then I'm gonna repaint this this whole thing this whole thing from here to there so I'll lightly I'll lightly sand this again get it all ready 
and then I'll put a little bit of paint there first let and then as that's drying um, see I can jump into the bathroom or I can come out here and put a little paint there and then as that and then before I clean up on the second coat or while I'm between coats the first and second coat then I'll come then I'll come over here and, and put one coat over this you see what I mean and then speaking of, of the stairs this thing here when the when the people moved out of course of course they had to not be careful there's a ding right there there's a little hole there here's another one here here's another one here I, I, I have no idea how they did these here's another one right there here's a double one kick here's another one kick and so because of that I don't want to just I don't want to just touch that up with the paint with with the with the uh, paintbrush a paintbrush paintbrush because I'm gonna have to put two little coats on each one of those and then as you stand here after it dries you're gonna see the mark because uh, what when I repainted this I use, I used a, uh, a little mini roller with a sponge roller cover and that way I got this all nice and even all the way up and so what I'll end up having to do I've got to put some some uh, water putty in all these sand those all down get that all prepped and stuff and then when I have the white paint out then I'll hit a little bit hit a little bit hit a little bit for a first coat l let's say and then jump back here after 15 20 minutes put a little bit more and then um, in between first and second coats of the paint in the in the ceiling I'll come here and and finish this do you see what I mean so so I'm just gonna be kind of jumping around see this this handrail here I never painted that from before this was the existing rail, the existing paint color, and it's got some nicks in it, and it's got a couple places where I can feel on my hand um, that it has to be touched up. And then I saw there was a couple, here, here's, a, here's a nice little ding right there, see that? I don't want to just fill that up with caulking and call it good and then p try to paint over. It's never going to come out right. Here, here's, a, here's a little bit, and then on the back side, there's a, there's a place right in here. And so, and, and then plus, I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna take these brackets out and I got some, uh, uh, um, some colored ones to match everything else that she's got in here, okay? And so I'm gonna take this out into the garage and then I've gotta sand this, I've gotta lightly sand this a little bit and then I've, I've got some water putty here and that water putty, oh man, it, it works really good. Rock hard water putty, you put, the, you put on there, you can sand it down and it paints up. You can't even see that stuff when you get done and it's cheap. And so I'll prep this and how that's ready to be painted down there. Cause once I get into the white paint, I don't wanna have to get into it again, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Once I have the paint out, I just wanna go for it. You see, so, I, so I've, got, I've got to plan myself strategically today and speaking of that water putty, here it is, right here. Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty. Okay, this stuff works good for all kinds of stuff. It's very cheap. This is, was probably only $3. And they have a bigger container. This is a small container. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that stuff. So I, I've got a few things to prep first. Now I'm going to just take this out into the garage and then lay down some craft some craft paper and I'll, and I'll show you I'll show you all that stuff later but uh, see I've got a nice little uh, long place right here right in here uh, to run my craft paper to then put my um, handrail there and get it all ready and and here's here's my craft paper this is the craft paper that I'm going to end up using okay for in the bathroom and stuff that stuff works good it's about $15 a roll. Uh, I forget how many feet in it. You can get it at the Home Depot at Lowe's and wherever. Okay, I, I always use this stuff for, for painter's drops and stuff and I'll cut it and put it in the bathtub and put it over the countertop and, and, and all kinds of stuff. So, so I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be the prepping fool for the next, uh, oh, I don't know, two and a half, three hours before I even start opening up the paint, okay? Think about your job and see what you're going to do before you start 
and and then I'm gonna I'm gonna look at all the baseboard when I have the white paint out and if I have to come back and get the paint out again I will but but you see see that little mark down there right there here's a little spot right there you know just little things just little things here's here's a spot right there see here's a spot right here and here's another little ding I see it, it's just different stuff like that that's going to make a difference when you get ready to sell. See, I have no idea how could somebody scratch this from here to there. I have no idea, but somebody did. Right there, here, 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 as they were bringing something up. Uh, up to the bedroom when they moved in. And uh, so, so I'll, just, I'll just take my time and go around, take a, take a meander down the hallways and stuff and see where I need to do any little minor touch-up. And um, I did notice, I did notice on this door too, um, right here where the door jam is, usually wherever the door jams are, you're gonna find places that you're gonna have to touch up. Okay, because they because they didn't really put a put a car in here, the garage is real small. You can fit it in there but uh, they they put some moving boxes in there and see here, here's a mark right there on the door here's another little mark right here and, and so I'll just here's another here's another up here I'll just kind of take a perusal when I have that white paint out and if I and if I miss something before before I get done with everything then I'll I'll uh, here's another spot down there I remember that one okay and um, I'll just I'll just have to uh, get the paint out again. But um, I'm just pointing out certain things. When you have certain paint colors out, um, you got the white out. Then then do all your other paint touch up and do all your other little projects at the same time if you can. If you can, you know, if you got to come back later and get the paint out just for your handrail, uh, whatever. But even even if even if um, I had the right brackets here, would I just paint the top of here? No, don't do that. You're going to get it all over the place. It's not going to be nice and even. And um, I also want to. I also want to get the bottom all the way. Okay, it's so much easier just to take it off and do it, and then let it dry, and then and then put it back on. Okay. And uh, see the the reason. See everything in here used to be the gold the bright brass finish before we changed it uh, to the nickel finish. We changed everything in here to nickel finish. So, so Momi, she, she wanted me to change these to nickel finish too. Okay, fine. You know, I didn't have a problem with that. We even, we even when we changed these ceiling fans, she wanted nickel finish, the light fixtures nickel finish. And I was gonna try to get nickel finish for the little eyeball, uh, single eyeball lights, but they didn't have it. And so I thought, okay, let's just use white here because, I mean, I could have used black, but there's not much black in here. There is black here, 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 but over here, everything's white. See the window frames are white, the door frames, the, the baseboards, uh, the light switches, the plates on the wall, the countertops, the trim, you know, everything in here has a white feel to it, the doors and frames. And so I thought, hey, well, I'll just put white there. So keep all that kind of stuff in mind when you get ready to paint. A couple minutes later, see, I wasn't kidding. I took the door off. I even took the, I even took the hinges off because I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna end up painting the casing trim just on the inside because when I painted these, Initially, I painted everything over to the back side, knowing that once I did the bathroom, I'd go from there on over. Okay, so I got, I got everything other than the light fixture. And I just set everything over here. I know exactly how these go back in. Here's my trim pieces. I'll put the light fixture over here, the cover plates. Got all that stuff, okay? So, take your time and do things right. 
Now here's another reason why I took this light fixture down. And like I say, if you painted the ceiling, you're gonna get little bits of white all on your trim and everything. But if you're like, hey, forget it, I, I don't care about it. Well, here's something else to consider. Your trim base might be a different size than that one, okay? And let's say, let's say yours is a little bit longer and you paint it. You paint around it, you're like, I, I don't wanna mess with it, I'm not an electrician, I don't wanna shock myself, I don't wanna do anything like that. And I'm just gonna leave it and paint around it. Well, down the road, let's say a year from now, down the road, you decide, hey, let's get rid of that crappy light fixture. Let's, let's put a new one. And the one you find, you love it, and, but the base is not as long as your old one. Or your base is just as long as the old one, but it's thinner from top to bottom than your old one. So you take this one down, and now you put your other one up there, and now you've got to, you've got to paint your wall and maybe you got rid of your paint touch up for your walls. Maybe you never had any. Maybe it was somebody else who didn't paint behind it. See these people, they painted behind it, which was a good thing. And uh, because then when you take it down, um, no matter what kind of light fixture you put up there, it's fine had I not painted again. But had that been white behind there and had I put a different one, then I didn't have the paint to match it. Oh, I would have been ticked off. And that one had all kinds of grease stuff around the edges and stuff. So I, I took my simple green, wiped that all off, took my simple green up there in the ceiling when I took, the, when I took that ceiling register down and um, wiped it off because of the heat came across this way and there were some marks on the ceiling. So. You want to get stuff like that off. You want to look around. I'm going to look around on these walls to see if there's any soap scum on the walls or the ceiling or anything like that because that's going to affect your paint when you paint. Can you see if you got some greasy stuff on the wall or some soap scum or something? You paint over that, your, your paint's not going to stick very well, is it? Okay. All right. Just different things to remember. Am I, am I ready to paint yet? Nope. I'm not ready to paint yet. I still got that masking tape to put up, like I was telling you. And I've got my masking tape right here. I haven't, and, and, and here's the other thing. I haven't used that tape for, oh, I don't know, a year and a half. And I'm hoping it comes off the roll okay, because if you, if you have masking tape too long, this is, this is a little bit less than an inch and a half. If you, if you have masking tape like that too long, then maybe, it doesn't come off without sticking and ripping and, and little pieces and, and things like that. So, you know, I always have a backup. I've got some blue tape downstairs. If I have to use the blue, I'll use some blue. I always like to use this first, if I can, if I don't really care about a straight line. And there's no way, like I said, even if I did put the blue tape, there's no way that that paint is not going to seep behind there because you've got ridges. If you're putting if you're putting blue tape over these ridges and you put a piece across there for a wainscoting or or something like that, can you see that the paint is still going to is still going to find its way down there because it's not a flat surface. Do you see what I mean? Now, if that was smooth wall finish, then yes. The the blue tape will work. Other than that, it's not going to give you as straight of a, of a nice straight line as you thought, as you saw the commercials, as you've seen other people do, because all these ridges, you'd have to put your tape on and, and push it down on each ridge. It's virtually impossible. Okay. All right. I'm getting ready. And after I put your masking tape down, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be painting that ceiling just yet. I still got some prep work to do, remember? I've got to take this, this handrail down. And I can do that myself. I don't need anybody to help me. And I've already taken it down once. And um, I, was gonna, I was gonna change everything and repaint this. And I had it out in the garage. Um, and then, like I said, Momi, she wanted to move out of here. and She wanted someone to come in here. So I just put the same one back up. And if you just take it, I, I take the middle ones out first and then loosen up 
like the bottom one and then I can come up here once I take this down I, I take uh, you know there's three screws on here okay at the bottom one I take the top two screws off and then loosen up the bottom one okay then I come then and I'll take the three uh, undo the screws to the wall and then I've, I'll take this one down once I take it down I can just swivel it down to the down to the uh, stairs right and then I can go down there and take the last one out and then uh, walk it out into the garage very simple and and I'll reinstall it the same way set it down here lift up the bottom get one screw in there and then come back up here and then start here and then um, and then I can I can do the others and then do that one last you know very simple to do okay alrighty time to get busy kaboom it's not rocket science we're talking about here okay if I can do it in average Joe you can do it okay so I took off all the brackets there before I took the brackets off I took a picture of it with my cell phone uh, so that I knew which angle that was at so when I get ready to reinstall it it's kind of set up properly okay and and then I just took it out here see I took my I took my craft paper and the other two pieces of craft paper that I had uh, was when I was doing some staining and I just rolled it back up and and see I can I can just I can just reuse it okay and so this is this is my staging area I'm gonna sand it I'm gonna um, do the um, hard rock water putty and to mix that stuff up I just take some cardboard I got a little piece of cardboard here when I did when I did my door hinges but I won't do that I'll mix it up right there and then I'll take the cardboard in and a uh, putty knife and fix the handrail that other uh, wall rail and stuff see you don't you don't need a whole lot of stuff to do things right okay spend a little time and have a little effort man and when it gets all done trust me it'll look like a professional painter did it and we know that you did it instead an average joke